Hi, I'm Kaisley. And I'm Schley. Today we're here at High Voltage Software going undercover to expose the truth behind this so-called cutting-edge game developer. Are things really so rosy in the game industry? Or are they, in fact, not really so rosy? To find out, we ask some hard-hitting questions. First, we talk to funny man Ed Connell. What separates High Voltage from other game companies? Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't hit. Uh, there's absolutely no hitting. I see. Well, uh, what if I told you that in your own company's handbook, there's no mention of no hitting. In fact, it quite literally states that hitting isn't so bad. And it goes on to say, we encourage employees to throw down and bring it. No, 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 no. You've got that wrong. High Voltage is committed to excellence. Uh, the employees come first-ish. Uh, if I may coin an expression, we have a open door policy. Actually, that's already an expression. What about uh, coining an expression? That's, that's mine, I think. No. The following employee asked that his identity be kept secret. The games at High Voltage are not just violent, they actually encourage school children to put down their books and instead consume delicious adult beverages and act sexy with older ladies. For a look at unruly employee behavior, we turn to an authority on the subject, Ray Bailey. Ray, is leaning on the walls a problem here at High Voltage? Yes. In fact, wall leaning has risen by an unheard of 37% from just one year ago. And what do you think the reason is for that? Well, I think it's a morale issue. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I I'm just saying. And why is that, do you think? It's probably me. Ray might indeed be a factor. Recent employee polls show that Ray behavior is on the rise. Getting in my face, up 12%. Sassy emails, up 26%. And unnecessary desk moves, increased by a whopping 60%. Further research indicates that high voltage leads the industry in wall leaning by a considerable margin. Uh, so what games are you designing currently? Um, well, there's a lot of exciting games in the pipeline, and uh, I think everyone here is really enthusiastic and pumped up about working on some amazing platform titles. And what are you doing today? Uh, we're making grapevine wreaths. What do you do here? I'm a designer. Really? Yes. You're not a hairdresser? No. Interesting. Because we have some startling footage you might want to see. People can be so bitchy. I said, honey, you take that trash talk, turn the words around until they're talking back at you, and see how you like answering yourself, trashy. Is that too short, sweetie? No, it looks good. What do you have to say about that? I was just reshaping. We decided to take a look into a typical HVS design meeting and see if we could get some inside info on a game or two. Chad, you're the audio lead. How are things in your department? Sound is heading in a good direction. We're taking game audio to the next level. What do you mean by the next level? Well, you know, up there. But even the sound department, though much more skilled and creative than the rest of the company combined, is not without its dirty linen. Tell us about the sound department scandal. I don't know what you're talking about. There's, uh, there's no scandal. Chad told me that there was no scandal and that he didn't know what I was talking about. It was obvious that we had to go up higher on the company ladder. Is there any truth to the rumors? Uh, that's the company ladder. I'm gonna need that to change some light bulbs. Uh, I'm just saying, you know. Are you being intimidated by management? Is this about Cathead wearing slippers? At last, we had the confirmation we needed. 
The sound engineer known as Cathead, contrary to handbook regulations, has been wearing slippers around the office. The slippers are not allowed and are very comfy. Cathead denied our request for an interview, but this story was just too good to pass up, so we resorted to drastic measures. It's time for Schlee on the case. Lee on the case here. We've tracked Cathead down and we believe he's behind this door. Cathead, can you tell us about your slippers? When do you change into your slippers? Where do you see yourself in five years? With the same pair of slippers or a new pair? Here he comes now. Cathead, wait! Cat! Cathead successfully eluded my questions. All was not lost, however. While pursuing the slippers lead, I stumbled upon a more remarkable story. Among his many talents, Cathead possesses magic hands that actually wash themselves. Well, there you have it. This has been Schley on the Cake. Unfortunately, our investigation came to an abrupt end. Our cover was blown when Schley tried to break into the vending machines, and we were subsequently fired. Join us next time when we explore time travel and try to get our jobs back.